and then all fours. Very nice, yeah? So relax your shoulders away from your ears. Remember the separation there. And we move the hips here in circles. So breathing forward, breathe out back. Breathing forward, breathe out back. Soft. And then the opposite direction. Good, and then on the center, breathing open arching, shoulders away. And then breathe out and round. Now move the head, yes? Yeah? So when you arch, really lifting the head and the chin. And when you round, let your head fall completely. Now we curl the toes, press the back of the toes on the floor, lifting our chin, breathe out, squeezing toes, rounding your back. Breathing open our chin, breathe out, rounding. Breathing open our chin, and rounding. Well done. Now, we open the knees, we go to child pose, yeah? So back with your hips. Start, remember always don't rush to put the head on the floor. Go with the hips, then start with the belly, with the solar plexus, with the chest, and then slowly your head. Your arms open, so check that you can open to the width of the mat, your hands, and surrender. Really let it go. Okay? So imagine that you are falling into the planet, into those roots. And you are letting go in that falling, all the tension and the stress. We move the hands to one side. And we go to the other side. And then to the center. Well done. Now, we will go to all fours, shoulders away. And we will do like a circle now with your upper back. Yeah? So we lift in the shoulder blades and then like we relax and arch. Yeah? So the same circle that we did with the hips, now you try to do it with your upper back and your chest. Yeah. So you round the upper back and then like you relax the chest to the floor. Now, when you do that, the, the chest part, check that you are not bringing the shoulders to your ears. Yeah. So it's lifting upper back and then relaxing. Obviously, you, may, you move the whole body, but you focus on the upper back. Yeah? Now, we do the opposite direction. So lifting, rounding. And then relax your chest, lifting, rounding, relax your chest. One more time. Good. Well done. We will bring the arm beneath here. Yeah? So remember, if we don't arrive with the head on the floor, we put a, a cushion or the same bolster beneath here yeah? so it's more comfortable. We, we want to feel comfortable here, yeah? So it's already could be not comfortable already the position. So we want to have the head grounding on the floor. 
And then the other arm. Relax your chest. Soften. Let go. Relax. Now, if you can, the arm that is on the floor, so the arm that is forward, lift your hand, ground your wrist, yeah? And lift it like your uh, fingers and your palm. You want to feel the wrist on the floor, yeah? So move it a little too, like a ground your wrist, yeah? And then relax your hand again. We are working a little bit on the nerves there, on the nerve system, the signal. Yeah. Go on, relax. We go with the other arm. So, first the shoulder, then you put the head, expand it. Put the arm on the floor. Once you ground the position, lift your hand, but keep the wrist on the floor. And you catch as much wrist as you can and soften. And then coming back, well done. Now, with the bolster on the front, we go back to child pose. We put the hands above the bolster. The fingers will be like a passing. Yeah, so don't, don't put the hand in this end on the other end, yeah? And again, shoulders away. You keep the hands nice and open, yeah? We use all the, the width of the bolster. And you go with the belly, solar plexus and chest. The head is up first, yeah? So you look up to the bolster or the pillows or the... Um, <laughs> to the bolster of the pillows, the blocks, the blocks, the blocks, that's what I meant. And then try to relax belly, solar plexus, and chest. And then you can relax your head. And then coming back. Well done, very nice. Good. So we will do a little bit of them. We're facing dog just to keep working on the upper back. Just one nice and comfy. So we don't force the legs at any point. So imagine that we will do a child pose, okay? So you cool the toes, you're lifting your bum. And with the knees bending, you go back. Shoulders are away from your ears. And you want to bring the belly toward your thighs. That's the action. Eh? So hips back, belly toward your thighs. To feel that same opening that we felt in the last pose. Yeah. So imagine it's a child pose. Hips back, belly toward your thighs. That will open the chest and the spine. Don't extend the legs. Eh? Don't extend the legs. And relax, relax. Well done, soften. Look up, yeah? So again, shoulders away, chest like a lifted and open forward. Keep that idea, yeah? We look up, chest up. We go again, hips back, bending your legs. Yeah? So you lead with the hips. Imagine that you go to child pose. Keep the head up. Bring the belly toward your thighs. And then relax your head. Keep the knees bending. Don't stretch your legs. Yeah? Don't stretch your legs. Go and relax, relax, relax. Well done, well done, well done. 